Psalm 103, verse 7 simply reads, He revealed his character to Moses and his deeds to the people of Israel. I simply want to pose this question on today. Do you just want to see God doing great things in your life? Or do you also have a strong desire to understand who he is, his will for your life, and how he operates? My brothers and my sisters, this is shown by looking at the differences between the children of Israel and Moses. Understand the Israelites saw God do miracles and they experienced his help just like Moses did. However, most of the time, they were happy with just getting what they needed and what they wanted from God without really getting to know him for themselves. But Moses, my brothers and my sisters, went a little further and wanted to have a personal relationship with God and not just be a recipient of his provisions. So on today, my brothers and my sisters, I simply challenge you not to simply be looking to always receive blessings, but to get to know the blesser for yourself and seek to walk in his will and his way. Let me pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this another day you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for being a God that blesses us, a God that keeps us, and a God who sustains us. And before we rush into your presence, we simply ask you, Heavenly Father, to forgive us of our sins and create in us a clean heart and to renew a steadfast spirit within us, restoring to us the joy of your salvation. Now, Father, as we prepare to embark on this new day, we simply ask you to fall afresh on us. We ask you to empower us to do what needs to be done so your will can be done on this earth. We ask you to give us boldness and we ask you to put us in, put us in remembrance of the things that we have studied about you so that we can walk in your will and your way and tell somebody about you so they can come running asking, what must I do to be saved? Lord, we ask you, Lord, to strengthen us where we're weak. We ask you to comfort us in the midst of our uncomfortability. We ask you, Lord, to just simply guide and sustain us all through this day. Lord, we want to give you the praise and we want to give you the honor by the good things that we do. We ask you to bless those, Lord, who are struggling with their health. We ask you to bless our young people. We ask you to bless those who are aging, Lord. We ask you to bless those who are grieving, Lord. We just simply ask you to hold all of us in the palm of your loving hand as we strive to navigate this day. We know that there will be struggles. We know that there will be hardships. But Lord, we know that in you, we have the victory, Lord. And so we shout hallelujah on this morning, Lord, because the victory has already been won, Lord God. So we are happy on today. And we are ready to go forth, Lord, to do what has never been done. Lord, we go forth to do the impossible, Lord. We go forth to spread your word across this world. So we ask you to be with us now as we prepare to go. Be with us now, Lord, and give us a mindset to not only bask in your blessings, but get to know you as Lord and Savior of our lives. So we ask you to be with us now. We ask you to give us focus. We ask you to order our steps. We ask you to guide our thinking and be with us as we boldly go forth into a day we have never seen before. So we ask you to abide with us now and keep our hearts in tune to you. So be with us, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. And remember, the challenge for today is to not simply be looking to receive from God, but to get to know the blesser for yourself. God bless you.